What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 29 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that the width of a rectangle is 3 fourths of its length, and the perimeter of the rectangle is 420 feet. So we're trying to figure out what the length is in feet of the rectangle. Now the skills that this question is testing are perimeter of a rectangle, we'll need that, how to take word problems and turn them into equations, and also how to solve a system of two equations by substitution. Now the reason why we need to use systems and system principles to solve this is that we have two things about this rectangle that we don't know, the length and the width. What we do know is first the width, so I'll call that W, is 3 fourths of its length. So the width is 3 fourths of its length, that's how we translate that directly. And the perimeter of the rectangle is 420 feet. Okay, how does perimeter work again? Well. If I draw this rectangle, I have a width and a width, a length and a length, which means that two widths plus two lengths will equal my perimeter, which in this case is 420. So now I have two equations that I've put into a system, and I'm going to go ahead and use substitution to solve that. Okay, so I have my two equations here on my solving by substitution cheat sheet. My first step is going to be to get my length or my width x or y in a regular problem by itself in one of the equations, and I can see that I already have that. My width is 3 quarters of my length, so I already have one of my variables by itself. So my next step is going to be to take this expression, this 3 fourths of the length that I got for width, and actually plug that in for width in this other equation. So now, I'll write this other equation um, like it was, but instead of width now, I'm putting in times 3 fourths of the length. So if we know that the width is 3 fourths of the length, it makes sense to say this in a different way, or as another way of saying that 2 widths plus 2 lengths equals 420, except now we're only dealing with one variable that we don't know yet in this equation. So this makes it a lot easier. All right, so first I need to combine my two like terms. Two times three fourths is the same thing as one and a half. So one and a half L plus two L gives me three and a half lengths equals 420. Now after combining like terms, I can just see that I'm trying to get this variable by itself. It's multiplied by three and a half. So I need to divide both sides by three and a half. 3.5 divided by 3.5 is going to cancel, and my length is just going to be 3.5 times 420, which, when I type that in my calculator, gets me 120. All right, so now I am not done because I actually, no, I am done. I misremembered the problem. I was looking for my length anyway. Since I found my length, I'm going to say that I'm done with the problem. I'm going to pull out my gridded response sheet so that I can actually fill in this answer in a way that the computer that grades my test will understand. So my answer was 120. I will give each digit of this number its own box. I find my 1 bubble under my 1 and bubble that in, my 2 bubble under my 2, and my 0 bubble under my 0. And that's it. 